It seemed a very interesting first sort to be involved in. There are many interesting things on the program which unfortunately I won't come to, but it seemed like a good thing to be part of. I have just noticed the talk about you know women women are the future of Islam, for example. That's something I would have loved to come to. Um, I'm also I'm just rather late in life getting interested in Asia. You know, when I started writing, I was mainly interested in Latin America, and then I moved to the Mediterranean, and now I'm tending to travel to Asia and become more interested in there. I think my favourite Asian author it must be Khaled Hosseini, although I suppose he's sort of Americanized, but I, I actually don't think he's a great writer, but he's written several great books, and this is something that deeply puzzles me. I don't think anyone should have to read anything, actually, but um, I, I would like people to read it because it's, I hope, evokes what it might have been like to be a, you know, tea planting back in the 1920s in Ceylon, as it then was. Um, I think Brits in particular are very hazy about their own colonial history and don't really understand the extent of it or what it all meant or um, its significance in different parts of the world. Um, I think, I think it is now time to look back on the empire. I prefer the mandolin if I want to be jolly and charming. I prefer the flute if I want to express all the sorrow in my soul. The, the flute is like being able to sing beautifully, whereas the, the mandolin is not such a singing instrument, it's, a, it's more of a charming instrument. I'm working on part three of my trilogy uh, of um, so, so there was The Dust That Falls From Dreams, which ends in Sri Lanka, then So Much Life Left Over, which starts there, and I, I'm now writing the third volume, which takes my family saga, I think, up to about 1980 and the death of the protagonist.